family and frenzies i have some exciting news for you today having a good day today um actually before i get into what this video is actually all about i'm just trying to put on some latex gloves here i'm about to um prepare dinner i'm making some swedish meatballs tonight y'all and we are going to chat while i roll up my meatballs so yeah y'all i have some exciting news for you today um i wanted to come on here to let you guys know that my family and I are moving to Florida. Yes, we are, y'all. We're moving to Florida, guys. The day has finally come. Yes, we have found our place and we are moving to Kissimmee, Florida. Some people say Kissimmee. We've always said Kissimmee. Same place. I'm sure you, if you're familiar with Florida, you know about Kissimmee. <laughs> So yes, guys, we are moving to Kissimmee, Florida, and we are moving in December. So look, time is flying, y'all. So we are just in the process of like, you know, trying to get prepared. I don't want to be cramming at the last minute, trying to pack or anything like that, y'all. So yeah, I've been taking trips back and forth here and there back and forth to florida just handling some business but um yeah y'all we're we are so excited this day has finally come it's been a long time y'all i think it's probably been it's been a little over two years since we've been trying to make this move so um yeah i mean we got held up by the pandemic y'all and also um i had opted to take a promotion at work so that also delayed our move because uh, I want to give myself at least a year in my new role. So um, yeah, guys, the, the day has finally come. We are so excited. So I'm sure like a lot of people, like some of my, um, some people that I know is like, how could you move to Florida? There's so many hurricanes and storms, this and that, guys. I mean, Hurricanes and storms can happen anywhere at any time. We had a hurricane up here in Jersey, Hurricane Sandy years ago. So it's like, come on now. Like all you have to do is just pretty much be prepared, you know, make sure you're doing everything you need to do to keep your family safe and stay prayed up, y'all. I mean, you can't let nature hinder your your growth, like your hinder change in your life, you know, positive change. You can't be afraid of nature. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. But yeah, y'all, we are moving. So guess just to give you guys a little background um, on our connection with uh, Florida and, and why we're making this move. Um, Florida has always been like um, near and dear to our hearts. You know, um, from the time when I was a little kid, from the time I was a little baby, uh, my father and my mother they always planned family vacations to disney world so it was like a family tradition pretty much every year we're at disney world 
And um, we loved it. We never got tired of it. We're, we're diehard Disney fans. And um, yeah, uh, we always planned our family vacation. Um, my father always um, took time to make sure we had that family time. So um, every year we always travel. Um, we always took road trips down to the state of Florida. And, um, you know, it was our excitement. You know, we always had a good time in Florida together as a family. So it's like now that they're no longer here, anytime when we're in the state of Florida, it may sound weird, but it seemed like we're closer to them in a way. You know, it seemed like I could feel their presence like right there anytime when we're there, you know, and we're so at peace there, you know, and just from that alone, I knew that that was the place to be, you know, um, and of course it wasn't just because of how I was feeling, you know, because it's not just me, you know, I did, um, speak with Sean about it, you know, I did speak with the girls about it as well, even though I was ready to move to Florida, I wanted to make sure the family was also ready to go with me because, you know, like I said, it's not all about me and how I feel, so I have to take everyone's, you know, feelings into consideration, you know, my girls are older now, you know, um, and also, you know, Sean, you know, of course he has family here, so I didn't want to you know, seem as if, okay, you know, well, this is something that I want to do and I want to do only so we're going to do it. No, uh, we did have a discussion uh, many times. At first, it was kind of like iffy, like, eh, you know, but then, you know, as time went on, everyone was on board. Um, the girls was always ready to go, you know, and yeah, we decided to go ahead and make this move. So, um, yeah, y'all, we're moving um, mid-December. We are moving. Um, we have our home already, like I said, and, um, I actually made a couple of trips already and took some things down there and we actually already started decluttering our house as well. Guys, it's so much things in this house. It's kind of like overwhelming, you know, how much things we accumulated in the house. So what we're going to do is, um, Sean is actually going to order a, um, a dumpster so that we can start just trashing everything that we're not keeping. This way we don't have to call, um, bulk trash pickup, you know, and then like if we had to call a bulk trash pickup, we literally have to pick a day or either they tell us the day they're going to come and drag everything out to the street so that they can pick it up. And rather than do all that, because we do have some larger items that we may be getting rid of, uh, we could just put it in our driveway and then just take it there and fill it up, you know, on our own. We'll have the dumpster for like two weeks or so. So that's gonna um, pretty much help us a lot. Once we're able to get rid of everything in here that we're uh, throwing away, we'll be able to better see what's left. Um, I have gotten rid of a lot of things already, um, and I still have a lot more to go, but, um, like I said, once we get rid of everything, then, um, it'd be much easier, you know, for us to proceed with our packing, because that, right, right about now, um, I started packing some things already, um, but right about now, the only things that we really need to pack is pretty much our clothes that we're wearing today. Um, not today, but you know what I mean? Clothes that we're wearing right now, um, will be pretty much the only thing that really have to get packed as well as, um, like little things like, you know, bathroom items, toiletries, um, shoes, things like that. Um, but like other things like the pots and pans that we have now, we needed a new pot set anyway. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking any of the, uh pots that's here in our kitchen right now no we're not taking any of that we're, the only things that we're taking from our kitchen is pretty much going to be our air fryer we're taking um our deep fryer we're taking our pressure cooker we have a juicer and we also have um i think it's a blender in there and we also have a like a griddle those are the only like kitchen items we're taking um, we're going to get new forks, new spoons, new cooking spoons, things like that. 
we're gonna get all that brand new because it just don't make any sense for us to bring that stuff down there and the stuff is it's pretty old y'all i mean it's time for for new um kitchen utensils anyway i just think it don't make any sense to bring those things down there um also uh like as far as like our tupperware getting that new you know don't make any sense to bring old tupperware down there unless it's like an absolutely good bowl and y'all like tupperware is like socks how the heck do we lose the tops to our tupperware bowls oh, I, I just don't understand it and see me i am a bit ocd -ish. when i um organized the kitchen uh, which was probably a couple of months ago. I probably or I organized all the cabinets in the kitchen. It took me a while. And I put all the tops with all of our Tupperware bowls. And of course, it's all mixed up now. Because I'm the only one who pretty much care about keeping all that stuff together, obviously. But anyway, I'm not going down there with um, mixed match Tupperware bowls and mixed match tops. It just don't make any sense. So when it's time to go, all that stuff is just being trashed. It's gonna be trashed um, down there in the house now um, I was there this past weekend uh, we did receive some furniture deliveries um, I was out there in September uh, where I visited the furniture stores and we picked out our bedroom set we picked out living room we picked out our dining room and uh, we got a television for the living room and um let me see we got my youngest daughter bedroom set we got quite a few things and so i made sure i scheduled the delivery for a day when i was going to be there which was this past weekend like i said i think it was october 15th i was there we scheduled delivery for that day because you know i wanted to be there at the house to make sure that we received everything that we're supposed to receive you know i wanted to make sure that you know we had the right furniture they placed everything in the right place things like that so that was very successful we did receive the dining room the living room the tv um my daughter's bedroom set some of our things are on back order though y'all um so I, I knew that would probably happen i i knew that um it would probably take some time for us to receive everything which is why I went down there in September. Now, our um, bedroom set, me and Sean's bedroom set, they said, we're not going to have that until December. So I'm hoping, that's a long time from now, so I'm hoping that it actually come a little earlier. We had originally planned to move the end of December, December 30th, but we actually changed those plans, and we're now leaving December 15th. It just makes more sense for us to leave during that time. Um, since our U-Haul is coming on the 16th, you know, it just didn't make any sense for me to come back up. And I was mainly just coming up to finish out one more week of work. It doesn't make any sense for me to make that travel arrangement for one more week. That's just crazy. So uh, we changed our plans to um, actually be officially gone by um, December the 16th, the day when we get in our U-Haul truck. So um, we're going to actually uh, ship our other car down there, the, the Kia. Um, that's the car that I gave to my oldest daughter, Lily. Um, we're going to ship that car down on December 13th. I believe they're coming to pick up the car. I think it's the 13th or either the 14th they're coming to pick up the car. And um, this way, that's one less car we have to worry about getting down there. Because we're going to end up driving our car down our um truck we're gonna drive our truck down and then we're gonna drive the u-haul truck down yeah y'all this is this is this, it's gonna be here before you know it y'all it's gonna be here before you know it i already know so we're just in the process of just making sure we're getting organized and um you know i'm taking notes making sure that i don't forget anything you know like i have to make sure i change my address when we leave i have to make sure i change the address with the bank and with credit cards things like that i have to make sure i remember to go to motor vehicle once i get there you know but i mean i'm not gonna forget it of course but i had to write all these things down because when you're doing so much you're making a big move like this it's easy to forget trust me it's very easy to forget so um I'm just trying to make sure I stay on point with everything. 
Um, I also uh, made sure this past weekend that uh, we had sheets and towels, things like that. Like the things that we're going to need at hand once we get to the house, once we're there for good. I wanted to make sure we already had at the house because I didn't want to have to worry about getting there and then having to run out to the store because we need paper plates or we need some cups or we need, you know, sheets for our bed, you know. So I made sure that um, I picked up a few of those things while I was down there this past week. And this way we can just get there, get settled in, and then everything else would just come in time. Like, cause I still need some furniture accents here and there. Um, and just a few little things like I need to get like our uh, forks and spoons and stuff like that, eating forks and spoons. So, um, but for now, I did order a huge box of plastic forks from Amazon. So we are gonna use the plastic forks and paper plates until, you know, I figure out uh, where we are gonna go to get the, um, the regular uh, forks and, and plates. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. We did complete a empty house tour video while I was down there as well. So I will be posting that video in a few days so you guys can see our empty house tour. Um, that's very exciting. I hope you guys enjoy that video. Um, guys, I'm actually planning on like there's a space inside the house that's um, right near the entrance. It's um, pretty much made for like a dining room space. but. We already have our dining room table in another section right off from our living room in the house. So it didn't make any sense for us to have two dining room spaces. The people who was there prior to us moving in, they had like two separate dining spaces. That wouldn't be necessary for our family because for one, we very rarely eat at the dinner table together for one. Very rarely. And um, secondly, I said, I need to just be creative with this space. So. I decided to create a Zenden inside the house. So that's going to be my own personal area where I can go and sit down, relax, have some peace and quiet. I have a nice floor waterfall right in front of the area that I'm going to make my um, Zenden. Um, it's no separate door or anything like that. It's an open space, but that's okay. It's still my Zenden. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to get a nice... Uh, chair like a nice comfy chair to go in that area a nice throw rug i'm going to get like um a nice stand where i can put my oil diffuser and my um my crystals things like that and i just want to make it feel like a nice um spa area you know i want it very tranquil and peaceful you know so um i'm excited about that i do got a couple of things that i want to like hang on a wall over there and um, yeah, that's going to be my area where I could just go be by myself. I could go there and meditate and, and pray and and um, continue manifesting uh, my future. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I mean, one thing I can say is that, you know, you should definitely be grateful. Be grateful for your blessings. Guys, I am so, so grateful for everything that God has done for me and my family and allowing us to make this move. At one point in my life, it almost seemed like it was just a dream. Like, I used to always walk around saying, yeah, I want to move to Florida, but how? How am I going to do this and how am I going to do that? I don't have enough money and it costs too much, this and that, this and that. But you know what? I had to uh, learn how to just, you know, believe and just wait, right? I just had to wait, you know? I believed that it was going to happen, and so it did. You just have to be patient because if it's not meant to happen when you want it to happen, it's just not going to happen. You just have to be patient and wait for it to come to you. So, um, yeah, that's what it is, guys. So, um I don't want to feel like I'm rambling. I really, like I said, just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that we are making the move. Um, we are excited. Uh, we are definitely going to bring you along in our journey. And we're going to take you every step along the way with us. We're going to show you everything from start to finish. So, um, guys, I'm going to go for now. 
I'm gonna finish making our dinner and um, I hope you enjoyed this video I just want to share with you guys the good news uh, we are moving we're soon to be Floridians we are leaving Jersey this Jersey gal gonna be down there in Florida she's gonna be a Floridian I'm so happy I will definitely uh, be posting our empty house tour within the next few days so if you're not subscribed please click that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you will receive an instant notification once that video is uploaded and also guys please don't forget to like this video so i'm going to go now i hope you all take care be blessed and stay safe till next time guys bye